Hello friends. So let's continue with our discussion from expected value and now we move on to something called uh, variance and standard deviation and let's see what does it mean in the real life. So, so now you want to start a restaurant business and you know that on an average you can make somewhere around $7,000, right? Now, what is the spread between which you can make this $7,000? So let's look into that and that is given by the variance, okay? And it is given by variance of x, right? And the expression is very simple. So we have minus 10k minus $7,000, which is the mean. So and square that and multiply it with the probability, which is 0 0.2. Plus, then you have 0 minus $7,000 into 0.3 plus then we have 10k the positive 10k minus $7,000 whole square into 0.4 plus then we have 50k minus um, somewhere around say $7,000 again whole square times 0 0.1 and if we calculate this, this comes around 261000. It's, yeah, it's a very, very big number. The reason being, here we are, you know, calculating things in dollar, but here it became square dollar, which doesn't make any sense because we're taking square of those values. So it be, the unit becomes square dollar. So that is why uh, we always take a square root of this variance, and that is denoted by a, a term called standard deviation. And that is nothing but the square root of your variance in our example. And this comes around roughly $16155. So it's no longer in you know, square dollar, rather it is in uh, dollar, just the unit dollar. Then it makes some sense. So what does it mean you know, if we visually try to represent this? Okay. So we'll just clear this. Okay. So now what happens is if I draw my uh, random variable in the x-axis so that means uh, we had something as minus 10k as one of the value we had 0 we had 10k and then we had 50k right and on the y-axis and the, on the y-axis we are plotting the probability so getting a minus 10k that is in loss is around 0.2 right okay and then zero roughly around okay let me choose a color okay and for zero we have say around 0.3 percent uh, sorry 30 percent for positive 10 we have say around 40 percent right and then for 50 we have hardly 10 percent okay all right so this is the probability distribution in our y axis all right so what is my mean my mean is roughly somewhere around here so i'll just choose a different color so this is our mean which is this portion is $7000 and we have a variance of $16000 roughly $16000 so if i go to the right and if i add $16000 roughly so what we have is uh, around $23,000. So, you know, I'll just choose a different color. So, this is my $23,000, right? And if I take the negative part of it, that means 7,000 minus 16,000, that means somewhere around here, minus $9,000. So, this is minus $9,000, and this is 23000 right? Twenty-three. Okay, so that means my data or my range lies within this given range. So between minus nine thousand and twenty three thousand dollar. So and my mean is about seven thousand here, right? So I can expect to you know uh, uh, my profit to be within between this range of minus nine thousand dollar and plus $23,000 and as a result I make a profit of average $7,000 okay so this is the concept of variance and uh, standard deviation in terms of discrete random variable and the same concept can be extended 
in the case of continuous random variable. So that we will see in our future video. So I hope you have learned something new today and uh, please keep practicing these concepts because they happen to be look very similar and it often creates more confusion. So please take your time to revise these concepts. So till then have a great day and see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.